this is actually the first ever baby appointment that Nolan hasn't been at. I just loved the experience of giving birth. It was like almost addicting to me. That is something that I am doing differently this time. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day four. I just got done at the chiropractor. I've been seeing Justice Family Chiropractic and I see Dr. Lindsay and she's amazing. She's made such a big difference this pregnancy. I saw a chiropractor in Arizona with Luca while I was pregnant and it just made all the difference. So anyways, I had that this morning, but guys, Luca was still asleep when I left and my appointment was at 8.40. I think he was waking up as I was leaving the house this morning, so Nolan's feeding him breakfast this morning. I'm gonna go home and take over, but I ended up sleeping in too much. So I like hurried, got in the shower and left really fast for my appointment, but sweet as boy. Luca, can you give me your cheese? On to the next activity of the day, which is my midwife appointment. I have a checkup today. I am, how many weeks am I? Am I 28, 29? something around there. This is actually the first ever baby appointment for both the boys that Nolan hasn't been at. But since Lucas slept in so, so much today, he's actually gonna be going down for a nap in the next 10 minutes. So Nolan stayed home with him and it's kind of weird to be here alone because I've never gone to one of these appointments alone. But I mean, it's just like a basic checkup. So it's not like he's missing an, like an ultrasound or something. But I'm gonna go in, get checked, and I'll let you guys know what they say. I just checked my app. I am 28 weeks and three days. And you guys know what this is? Okay. Yes, boy. Oh, boy. Is that what you expected? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> With both of them, I was like, if this says girl, I am gonna need a second of you. I was very, very You would confident. be very surprised. Yes. <laughs> Where do you feel him most when he's moving? Here. Okay. So I feel like he's moved. With the biggest movements here? Yeah. Okay. Um, I definitely feel his little feet in my ribs. So we can do a little bit more. So the big, the biggest movements are up. That usually yeah. indicates feet up there. Well, yeah. If that's not bad, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I like. Wow. Awesome. Just got done with my appointment. I just love the birth center. I'll probably talk about it more in other videos, but they're just awesome and it's just so easy in and out. But she said he looked all good. His heartbeat was good. And we think he's head down, which is really exciting because a couple weeks ago he was definitely still side lying. So I've been doing some exercises through uh, my pelvic floor therapist has recommended and then also just my midwife at the birth center just to get him head down. That's really exciting, which I was like fairly certain he was head down just cause I don't know, like even with Luca, I feel like I knew when he flipped <laughs> cause you start feeling little feet in your ribs and stuff. So successful appointment. I'm gonna go home, Luca's asleep. So I'll probably eat some lunch, hang out with Nolan a little bit and We'll see what else we got going today. I'm home now and I just ate lunch and this is the first time in a very long time that I've eaten lunch by myself because Luca's napping and no one's working. So that was kind of weird and lonely. I am now working on getting all of Luca's stuff ready for his first birthday, which is in less than a week now, which is absolutely wild to me that we're gonna have a little one-year-old in six days. So I just got Nolan all his videos from my camera roll. He's gonna be editing a one year of life video for Luca. Now I'm going through all my pictures because I'm gonna print some and like do like little strings of just different photos of him. And then I also have a wall that's gonna have like one from each month. So I'm gonna keep doing that. As far as other things I need to get done today, those are kind of the biggest things.
because I already ordered all his presents. I ordered all the like decor and everything for the birthday party. So that's all supposed to be coming in the next couple of days. So hopefully it all arrives in time. I just had like a moment when I was ordering everything. It said everything was gonna be here by like the 6th or the 8th, which his birthday is on the 10th. And I'm like, that's kind of close to his birthday. I don't know why it's taking so long, maybe just cause it's the holidays. But if I can get this birthday things done, that'll be good. Luca just woke up, took a two hour and 15 minute nap, which is amazing. I have no idea what we're gonna do before bedtime cause I'm thinking I'm gonna just get him down by seven and he'll have a five hour wake window, which is a bit long. We're just gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna go get him and then give him lunch. So let's go get the baby. Good sleeper. How are you? Did you have a good nap? Nice week. I don't think I've properly documented how much Luca loves this train. It goes off the tracks as well, and he'll just walk around and chase it around the house. <laughs> he loves it. For me? Can you give a hug? For me? I think this is so sweet, bud. That is so nice. Slug it on Doug! Slug it on Doug! Oh, it's so sweet. Oh. oh my goodness, the day like totally got away from me. He didn't go back down for his second nap. I didn't even try. He woke up so late in the day that it was just, I think a one nap day. And so he just went to sleep at 7.15. So he was awake for like five hours and he was not even faced. <laughs> I think he's just kind of going down to one nap all on his own. So I was planning on doing just a sit down chat with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have come to my channel because of specifically my birth video. And I get comments every day and it's i was just looking through some of them and i haven't responded to so many of you guys so i've been meaning to just do a video where i sit down and talk about this pregnancy experience and this next birth that i'm gonna have in a couple months so i thought today would be a perfect day to do it because that's kind of the theme of my day i guess went to the chiropractor this morning and then I went to my midwife appointment. So one of the questions that I get very frequently because I did have such a positive experience the first time is what am I doing different? So this time around, like I've mentioned, I'm going to the birth center. And last time I was technically going to an OB office, I guess, but I, I did have a midwife and that midwife delivered in the hospital. So this time I'm gonna be de delivering at the birth center and I'm so excited because just being there is just so calm and just chill. And that's probably the biggest difference, honestly, so far is just delivering not in a hospital. So with my pregnancy with Luca, I experienced SPD really really bad and this pregnancy pretty early on I was already feeling that pelvic floor heaviness and that joint the symphysis pubis I think is what it's called just not acting as it should especially for how early on I was my body just instantly was like oh we need to relax and you know, that causes pain. So I asked about a floor therapist in the area and who they recommend and they referred me to Birth and Bits, which it's not Birth and Bits anymore. They're now called Tri-Cities Pelvic Health and I see Dr. Becca and she is just amazing. I go every week and I started going at the beginning-ish of October, maybe the middle of October. I didn't really know exactly what to expect. It's definitely like, physical therapy. I've obviously just seen her for my pregnancy. It has helped so much and I could go into like a whole nother video of all the ways that it's helped, but just even like the tightness that you get from like your growing belly and like loosening that up and changing your posture to help your back, even like things like going pee, which is like a postpartum thing for me at least, or constipation or like sneezing and peeing. <laughs> I had a major issue with that postpartum. I don't really have a problem with it anymore. And it's also prepping me for labor, which I'm really excited about because my first appointment there, 
I was like, oh my gosh, I went through labor and I felt like I was so good at breathing and relaxing. And then I learned that I was breathing completely wrong and I was doing it like the opposite of what I should be doing. And I also am like breathing through my chest and not through like my lungs. I don't have an appointment this week, but I'm going back next week. So maybe I'll like film a little bit there and um, talk to you guys more about the pelvic floor therapy stuff that I'm doing. I am doing that this time in preparation for birth and also slash recovery from my first pregnancy. It's gonna help so much because we're just working on relaxing the pelvic floor and relaxing everything and getting him in the right position. I'm very excited because I've heard a lot of people have very positive experiences after doing pelvic floor therapy during their pregnancy, like their contractions were easier or like their birth went faster. So, so that's one thing that I'm doing different this time. As far as doing things differently for delivery, my biggest takeaway was learning birthing positions. I researched day and night for nine months straight on everything there was to know about pregnancy, birth, postpartum, breastfeeding. But one thing during birth that I was thinking, I wish I would have researched this, was like, what position should my body be in at this stage of my labor? The babies like rotate and like come down into your pelvis and you have to move differently during those stages in order to help them navigate your pelvis. So that is something that I am doing differently this time during delivery is getting in optimal positions for birth because I was very relaxed and I did a good job breathing and not tensing up, but my positioning was not right. Another thing during labor would have been more helpful was Nolan and my mom knowing how to do counter pressures on my hips because I had back labor really bad with Luca and I'm almost 100% positive I will have back labor again. And I found out that I have an antiverted uterus which means I carry my babies in my backside pretty much. And so that's why I have back labor. And so I'm pretty much guaranteed to have back labor again this time just because of the positioning of my uterus. It doesn't cause any issues with like birthing or anything like that. Like it's not a risk of any means, but it just means that I carry them further back. Knowing that we're going to work on just learning counter pressures because it feels different during birth than it does when you're not birthing a child or having contractions. And so they were doing the counter pressures that felt good to me while I w wasn't in the middle of labor. And then when I got into labor and was having contractions, it made it so much worse. And so I ended up kind of not having them do it so much. And then my midwife showed them and I was like, oh my gosh, that helps so much. So that's another thing that we're gonna do differently this time around is just like learn a couple different counter pressures so that during labor there's there's some more options than just what felt good to me while I was just pregnant and not having contractions. So I think that's gonna be all the questions I answer for now because I could just go on and on and on and talk about this. Maybe I'll do another Q&A just during my normal upload schedule that's not Vlogmas. But all in all, I am so excited to give birth again. I don't know why, but I just loved the experience of giving birth. And my cousin, I don't know why, we always end up talking about like pregnancy or birth or whatever. And she's like, you need to be the spokesperson of birthing and pregnancy because you make it sound just so amazing. But I don't know why, but it just felt like such a spiritual experience. And I don't even really know how to describe it, but like I've never felt so in tuned and like inside my body and also like so connected to God and like also this baby that like I've not met but like I don't know like it was just such a cool experience and so it was like euphoric which I don't even really know what that means but I think that's the word that I'm trying to use like a euphoric experience it was like almost addicting to me <laughs> I don't know why like afterwards I was like kind of sad when it was over I was like oh. but I just loved it obviously there's some pain that goes with it but I don't know like I just had a really positive mindset which is 
something that I tell all my pregnant friends is mindset has a lot to do with just your pregnancy in general, but also birth. And I think knowing what was happening at each point of my labor helped me stay in a positive head space because I wasn't just thinking about like what I was going through, but I was also thinking about like, what is Luca doing in my tummy <laughs> and thinking about, you know, his experience as well. Anyways, I need to stop talking or else this is gonna be like a 30 minute long video. If you guys have more questions for me, please feel free to comment below and I will answer questions. I will definitely be doing more like pregnancy, birth, delivery related videos. Let me know what kind of pregnancy related videos you guys wanna see because as you can tell, I'm a little bit passionate about birth. And so I would love to keep talking about it. I think that is gonna be it for Vlogmas day four. Subscribe to my channel and tick the bell so you get notified when I post. I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.